All right, so today we're going to do a uh, practice run of my tent for our backpacking. We have a River County Products tent. It's supposed to be very light. <clears throat> it weighs only 1,400 grams, which is just about three pounds. Never set it up, so we'll see how it goes. Fast, slow. Is it difficult to set up? Which I don't know. This tent was uh, forty-nine dollars on Amazon. It comes from a, t a, a small mom and pop shop in um, Eastern Washington. These are the tent stakes that come with it. Very light. Just dawned on me. I don't have a hammer to hammer them in. We'll see how it goes. And since this is an ultralight, you're supposed to use your checking poles for oh, let's See, I'm gonna re-swap it because I want the zipper edge on this side. So the way this little knot works is you pull this bottom loop down and then it makes you a nice little loop and it won't slide. That's how it works. Just for your info, which I've never used this before, so it's all new to me. inside we're gonna do a little practice camp out tonight here we're supposed to get some rain we'll set this guy up here and we're gonna test it out including getting ready with the gear so I can square this up a little bit with the gear and we have a quilt for Chia we use this one for her. This has a, uh, looks like it's nice. It's got the vents. I probably could work on tightening the height up a little bit so it's got all screen here. So I should do good to get the water out and over there. It'll hang here, pocket. Um, tie is for your, tie the screen in if you need to. Um, let's see what we got up here. Looks like a little hook or a place to hook your a light and we will see how it goes we will see later the goal again is to get a practice night in here and see how it works this is uh, again about a three pound tent not including the tent stakes because you don't need the stakes um, I got my backpack here we'll do the whole shooting mats getting dressed in here I got a quilt I'm using it's a uh, REI quilt. This weighs one pound. Good info. And I'm gonna test out this Costco High Sierra mat bed roll uh, blow up. We'll do a little video of blowing it and see how long it takes. Uh, some of the statements or reviews I hear are is it's very noisy, like sleeping on a bag of potato chips. We'll see, it might suck. Find that out. Comes with the pillow, which is nice, but I uh, also have the little pillow that I had bought 
previously. Uh, where the heck is it? Uh, it's over here. A little arrow pillow. This guy, nice and small. And we'll see how it all goes. So I brought my clothes, like I said, we're gonna sleep in it tonight and see how it goes with the cool. Here we are in Northwest Washington where it's gonna get, you know, it's like 40 degrees today. I have a therm, uh, a uh, little um, thermometer. So I'll use it to check the temperature, see how it goes, what if it's cold or hot, how we feel, and then how the comfortable the bag is. Let me bring in Gia. Come on, Gia. Bring Gia in. She was scared of the tent. Here, puppy. Come here. This is your bed. Look. Come here. Let's let her sleep on this quilt here. Come here, puppy. Come here, Gia. Come. Come here. here. This will be her bed tonight. Lay down. Lay down. Good girl. Lay down. Okay. Go on. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see you a little bit later. Alrighty. So it looks like it's pretty low light here with that little camera. So I got Gia in here. Got the back. I got the backpack. Stay there. She don't want to lay down very good. And then I'm gonna. Let me see. I got a little light. Let me see if I can. Bring this light down here to fix it, eh? Let's see. Dark, bright, dimmer, color. Bright, so let me turn it on bright for right now. <clears throat> Hang it back up here, in the corner. So it's been raining, but it hasn't gotten wet in here. So I said I was going to blow the chair up here. I mean the sleeping mat. Hopefully Gia doesn't freak out. She always freaks out with it. Because sometimes she's a big sissy for being a big dog. So let's see how it goes. All right. That's it. It's full. <clears throat> so now, I'll pull out my my quilt. <laughs> Gia's a little scared because the tent is blowing. It's understandable. So here's the wrapper for the quilt. I'm going to throw it down there by the, that part. My quilt I'm going to put out here. And what happens is you wrap the uh, wrap this around the quilt, I mean around the sleeping pad, and then these little guys tie onto your quilt so they keep you together. So I'll put that on real quick. Then I will change to get ready to read a little bit and see what happens. There you go, good girl. Okay, so the temperature is Looks to be about 42. So we seem to be pretty good. So I'm gonna put the thermometer here on this little zipper so I don't lose it. And I'm gonna do a little reading. Oh, I gotta blow up my other little pillow. I'm gonna try this, this little guy right here. Actually, the sleeping pad is not noisy. I don't hear it like that. I heard the 
I would hear people say that it was like sleeping on a bag of potato chips. I don't really hear it. So we'll blow up this little pillow here. G is still definitely a little freaked out. So this right here is the uh, the blow up things. Hello? It feels, it sounds like it's windy. It's a little bit windy out here. What are you wearing? I'm wearing my 32 degree, my long sleeve, my short sleeve, and that's it right now. But it's, it's, actually, it's actually nice in here. Let me see Gia. All right, so, had the tent come in on me. Gia was doing fine. Jen called me, and then the tent came in. Pulled the stake out from the wind. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully we can make it through the night. Not the wind, my, my bag, my quilt is very warm. Um, and we'll see. I decided Where to practice my French. Me and Jared are trying to learn French. Où est le zoo? Uh -huh. Où est le zoo? Where, Where is, is the zoo? Où est le zoo? Où est le zoo? Où est now le you zoo? try. Repeat after Estelle. Où est le café? Où est le café? Où est le zoo? Où est le zoo? Où est le zoo? Fantastique. Fantastique. And of course, you can ask about people as well. Like, où est Estelle? Où est Estelle? Uh -huh. Or, Where is Estelle? Où est Paul? Où est Paul? Okay, but we haven't gotten to the most important question yet. Where is that? the bathroom? Oh, right. <laughs> I thought I heard a sound. In French, it's more common to hear where are the bathrooms. Maybe it's just the word. There's an S at the end of the word for bathrooms, even though you don't pronounce it. Okay, give that a try. Repeat after Estelle. Le. Le. Le toilette. Le toilette. Super. Okay, what was that sound? I know I heard it that time. Some kind of creepy sound out there. I don't know what it is. Hang on, French. The wind isn't that strong, so it must be... No, what's going on? Of course, Gia got scared and went in, so now I'm about here myself. And that's my first day out, and what happens? Something weird is going on outside. I don't know what to think. It's really creepy. The strangest sound I've ever heard. It's gotta be the wind blowing through the trees or the fence or something. Whatever. Alright. I keep hearing the strangest noises. I'm having a hard time sleeping. I don't even know what time. 2 30. It's gonna not gonna end. I'm not sure about this test. Good night. I swear I keep hearing the strangest noises. Keep waking me up. Hopefully. It's nothing that's gonna bother me. We have our cameras on this area. And usually we never get any alerts, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. Okay, I finally looked at my phone on the camera. You won't believe it, a raccoon. Maybe the sound was coming from the wind. The only thing out there is a raccoon. Look at that thing. It's ridiculous. I'm getting some sleep.